a great location to make a great impact. It's a proven program coming to Indianapolis for the first time. It is being brought here by a passionate homicide detective who knows just how hard it is on the streets. All new at 530, it's called Him by Her, a program which stands for helping improve mankind by helping every race. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer introduces us to the third generation homicide detective who feels called to do more to fight crime in the tough neighborhood where he grew up. Detective Harry Dunn is solving his cases, but he felt compelled to do more to solve the underlying problem. Based upon the job that I have as a homicide detective, I'm charged and challenged with the responsibility of coming up with different ways and new ways of how to fight crime. I call it an active theater every day is what I do. And I believe it's coming to a theater near you if you don't get involved. Dunn is getting involved in a big way, buying this old school on East 30th Street, where he plans to open a Him by Her Foundation Skills Development Center. This old gymnasium will be transformed into a miniature city called an enterprise city, where kids will work in businesses, banks, restaurants, even a city hall. And it's where kids get to actively get engaged of uh, playing the role of the police officer. You play the role of the judge. You play the role of the business owner, the shopkeeper. Uh, you, we're trying to teach individuals instead of maybe wanting to be the rapper, why not try to own the studio? Instead of maybe being the football player, maybe we can teach you how to own the, st own the stadium. And while kids are learning here, their parents can be learning in classrooms down the hall. This is an example of one of the training rooms that we'll be occupying and using to teach. Here, adults will get vocational training, becoming certified plumbers, electricians, cosmetologists, and painters. Jobs that will keep them off the streets and out of the court systems. It's going to take the donations from the community. We're asking for local philanthropists, local business owners, um, local community leaders to donate to this program to help get this center open and make it available to young adults and to their parents so we can make a generational difference. I have two boys, 16 and 17 years old. Statistics have shown that 50% of young black males are said not to make it. I have two boys that saying that one of mine is not going to make it. I have to get involved. I have to fight back. The goal is to raise about $2 million to get these doors open by the end of this year or the end of the first quarter of 2015. Reporting on the east side, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. In other cities, this program helps about 13,000 kids every year.